here we go again guys welcome back to Shadowgate um, I still have uh, my special guest come back here so say hello hey guys it's King Baby's older brother here that's right and uh, from last time we uh, dealt with the troll and a Cyclops back to back and now we're sitting in this library wearing some pretty sweet glasses and we just read a book and learned a spell so if you notice here we have a, a, a a gem slot and we have one gem left I think it's the red one uh, <clears throat> which we are going to use because we just um, pretty much panned out this whole room we're done the bookcase slowly slides away revealing a hidden passage you know what I also have to do I didn't think you to take the map um, you do yeah I don't know I don't. I thought you used it but I think it's that's maybe the, the star chart um, it's a riddle oh it's a riddle yeah uh, Oh, yeah, okay. So that's one of the things you need for the riddles, which are coming up. All right, so using this gem here, opened a secret bookcase, which I think all castles have. That's pretty cliche. Oh, yeah, you have to have that. <laughs> all right, new room. This room is dominated by a large fireplace set in a red brick wall. Uh, this room gave us a lot of problems when we were younger. Um, at least me. I, I hated this room. Yeah, the globe. Yeah. One thing you can do, and you don't have to do it, but... I think it makes the room a little more cozier as you can light the fire. You torch the firewood. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, the fire starts burning, adding warmth to the room, so. Alright, well, should we start looking around? Let's do it. Alright, let's look at this. Looks like a goblet up here. It's a pewter goblet, which glows with a luster shine. Wasn't pewter, was that poisonous to drink things out of pewter? <laughs> yeah, I don't think they knew it then. I think it's a it's a alloy with lead in it. Lead, right, that's I what think, I thought. I think so it's lead and tin or you something. Can get, like that. If you continued using it a lot, you would get lead poisoning. All right. This wooden bellows has stoked many a floundering fire. Say that five times fast. Floundering fire. Yeah. Yeah. It's a black iron poker, even though it looks white to me. It is used to stir embers of an ongoing fire. All right. And how about the rug? It's a beautifully woven rug. How about out here? Through this portal, you can see the moon hovering over the dark, darkened mountains. Is that correct? Over the darkened mountains. It should be darkened, unless that's what about the name darkening? of the moon. Oh, it darkened. could be the darkened moon. Darkened yeah. from, the, from the nighttime, but I, I, <laughs> that could be the name of the mountain range. Yeah, dark, you know, the dark mountains. Elf, elfish right, elfish right, right. name. That's a good point. I didn't think of that. And this looks like a toilet here in the middle of the room. <laughs> she got to go. Well, I, yeah. I a, can't picture Hot air that. balloon. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. It is a glow mounted on a stand for display. It shows all the known lands. So what items do I actually... Looking closely, you can see a seam along the equator. That's the hint. That's a hint. Okay. So what items do I actually need in this room? I think I need the bellows. I would take the bellows cause you and, and use them on the fire just to see what happens. I forget what it okay. says. But isn't that one of the riddles? I am known to make fires brighter. Uh, blah, 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 I think blah, so. Something. I think the only thing that you don't need is the poker. But you can use poker on self. Can you really? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. my god. The fire star Oh, I didn't... Did I you know that? Them? No, I didn't know you could use them. That's cool. So, I actually want to use the poker on self. It's pretty gruesome if I remember right. Let's do it. Do you have to come back and get all this stuff again? Uh, that's a good point. Let's do that in the next one. <laughs> I'm not sure if you point. do. No, that. I have had to do that. It sucks. Should I take the goblet too? May as well. I mean, I don't think you need it, but. So, how's this guy carrying all this stuff? I don't know. It's a good question. <laughs> he must look like uh, the uh, junk lady from. Um, from Labyrinth, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Don't you want your window? That's a lot, dearie. Yeah. Oh, you little bear. You yeah, got your little, little bear. bear. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what else do we have to do in this room? Remember? Yeah, I, I I think you need to cast a spell in this right. room, right? I don't think I have the spell yet, do I? No, I think you yeah. have some scrolls, though. Oh, I forgot about the scrolls. Actually, I really did. So, let's open the scrolls. Scroll three is in hand. Your hand began to sweat because of your extreme excitement. Lands under the heavens, the key to the world. Terra, Terra. I think that's the yeah. spell we need, right? Yep. Well, Terra, Terra's Terra Earth. Earth. Oh, it is? Yeah, they vanish. They all vanish. Scroll four is open. You've read the scroll. To move the sun from far to near, light is what the darkness fears. Instant Illumina. Which, <laughs> it's kind of dumb where you use it. Instantum in Illumina, yeah. Yeah. You use it in the most odd places. Remember yeah, what? Yeah, it's not intuitive at all. It's not, yeah. Basically keeps you from being ripped to shreds is all I'm gonna... Yeah. You know. So, 
All right, so let's use that um, Terra spell we got. I think this was it. The spell was chanted Terak. A large crack appears around the equator of the globe. So, is there a new description? The longer says there's a seam, so I'd like you have to open it. You can try. I thought you had to hit it, though. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe hit works, too, sometimes. You never know. The globe is open. Oh, that's for bottle five. Re oh, there's a key. Sorry, I didn't see that. I don't even think you need bottle five. Ooh, that's a different one. And bottle five. Small black with a cork on top. I don't think... That's the one I'm, I don't think it does anything. Pretty sure. Uh, you only need one bottle. And you some of them... One's death. Which I think... You, one, in one of your episodes, left. you should walk through and drink all the bottles and then load your game. Uh, that's a good point, yeah. One of them, you definitely need to beat the game. Correct. Alright, so... We are done here. Was there anything else I wanted to do? No, right? We're moving on. Uh, yeah, we're moving on. Alright. You wanted to use poker on self. Oh, that's right. Let me do that now. Forgot about that. You thrust poker... I shouldn't say you thrust the poker. Yeah. ...into your chest. Blood begins to flow. Suicide. You're right, it is gruesome. The warlock will surely really try to I'm starting to think we're wearing cardboard armor. <laughs> yeah, paper armor. <laughs> yeah. When you see the guy in the end, he looks kind of like a sissy knight. He's not, I mean... Yeah, you're right. You can only see him, the, the back of him, but he, right. doesn't, he looks like, uh, he doesn't look Nothing very tall. Nothing special, yeah. That's a good point. Alright. Back to the end of your favorite music. Oh, man. It smells like a kennel in here, and there are no windows through which to circulate fresh air. Which meaning, it smells like dog shit in here. Yeah, right. So, look at all the shit everywhere. Um... Oh, the bottles and stuff. Yeah. Let's explore death right now. There's actually two deaths in this room. Um, one is... Let's take a look at this. Toilet. Oh, Actually, that's not a death. But there is one in here. Are you sure? I thought this could kill you. Try it. It, it really hurts. stinks. Poisonous looking. Oh, maybe it does. I, I'm thinking of the potion that makes you grow hair on your back of oh, your hands. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that one. Yeah. Slurp. You taste the poisonous looking liquid in the pot. You notice small blue hairs, this is it, beginning to grow on the palms of your hands. That's freaky. The vicious liquid seems to contain body-altering ingredients. Viscous, Don't kill you. yeah, it's like real thick. Oh, is that said viscous? <laughs> Never heard of that term. Get, is that all it does to you? I Can you continue to use it? Try it and use it again. I think it's just the same I think same we're turning thing. into a werewolf. Looking at the blue hair oh. covering your hands, you hesitate to drink the awful stinking liquid. So that's it, you don't want it anymore. All right, let's take a look at some yeah, things. Yeah, he will he will um, glad, gladly and listen to you and burn himself three times <laughs> to death, but he won't drink yeah. that liquid again. That is a good point. <laughs> well, you know, I'll use torch on self again. <laughs> I got third, I'm, I'm, I'm got excruciating third degree burns, but oh, I'm God. not drinking that again. <laughs> no one wants hair on their arms, yeah. All right, so let's take a look. That was good. This horseshoe seems to have taken quite a beating. That you do need, I do know, for yeah. riddles. Well, I guess I gotta look at everything first. It's also facing down. It's bad luck. Oh, the luck good point. Out. Yeah, you want to... Oh, oh, foreboding. The small silver volumes with a lustrous shine. You notice that's... Yeah, that's, that's a second one. Yeah, if you use it by mistake, there's yeah. your second one. Yeah. This jar is extremely slimy. I don't know if that kills you. Empty test tube into a wooden rack. That does nothing, I don't think, the test tube. No, I wouldn't take that. Because your inventory gets so long yeah, by the end of the so game annoying. that you just scroll through pages and that's pages point. of things. That's the third one. Model is light. Yeah, so they're really trying that's, to tell you that that's an they're, they're giving model. you a chance. Yeah. Silver vial, that might kill you. I don't know if there's something in it or... Use a, use a torch before uh, you have to run to the restroom. Oh, good point. I just say Taco Bell, too. <laughs> Alright, so we You might as well like the second one. Because well, we're gonna get out in the next room, and then oh, yeah, that's I think right. there's water there. So, um, so we want to take bottle two and bottle two. Take everything but the test tube. Okay. I know you don't need that. You, you might want to do a bottle death scene at some point. Ah, uh, that's a good point. Or a bottle drinking scene. There you go. Drinking contest. 
And I remember us growing up to one of the hardest things because you really have to look. You notice something uh, different in the floor pattern? Yeah, actually, this is this this stopped me. This is the first thing that ever that stopped me from beating the game mm -hmm. 20 years ago. Uh, I never I never noticed it, and it, yeah. it, it it took me a long time because we didn't have you know there was no internet or there was no no Nintendo right. power. Somebody told me about it. Yeah, it's like even get past the hellhound. Can you even look at the floor? Yeah. See, so why would you? Like I look, what you need to do, guys, is this part here. There's a little indentation, but to me, I think that's just Nintendo graphics. Yeah, like, it's, it's a it's a hand. It's supposed to be a handle. Like you see that, but look at this. Like this up here. Why is there little? Why is there six little black marks right there? Right. So right. you know, um, let's look at this. This steel mesh cage rattles constantly. A simple latch secures it. All right. Should we open it? Look at the um, that oh, thing on the yeah. floor. So okay. see what it does say. So one of the hardest things to do is line things up in this game. Lab animals can be chained to this stone while performing experiments on them. So no, it's, it's just basically it's a, a, it's a handle. Yeah. I mean, what? Yeah. Where, like you said, intuitively, like why would you? you what do you have to do? Use it? I think you have to use it. The stone rises slowly out of the floor, a shining vial is inside. That's yeah. nuts. Yeah. The glass vial is filled with clear liquid. The sign of the cross is on it. There you go. Alright, we're going to take it. And then before you open that latch, I'm going to move out of the room. bounce down yeah. to the next one. Good point. Just leave this room here. Alright. So, uh, this is the only death in the room you can do. So, hmm. and I never understood this one either. You remove the latch and a mutated dog pounces on you. It looks like the doctor put something strange in the dog's water. Before you can do anything else, the mutation quickly rips you apart. Again, cardboard armor? Yeah, man, you got owned. Like, I don't get he it. He probably was drinking that, that oh. liquid out of the green pot there. <laughs> That's good. It did say it was mutated and all. Maybe it was like freakish, freakishly strong like a werewolf or something. I don't know. Yeah. All right, so, moving on. I do like this music. This is more yeah, chill. Yeah, good. You stand in a small garden. The only sound is of falling water in the night. Um, here's the torch death I wanted to we wanted to show you guys. Hopefully this works. Use the torch on the water. Yeah, you stick the burning torch in the water. The flames just went out. Your torch goes out with a fizzle. With outstretched arms, you move slowly looking for a light. Suddenly, you trip over something. Smash, you fall face first to the floor. I don't know about you, but I've fallen on my face, or even backwards. And I've never had a visit from the Grim Reaper. No. That would hurt, though. That I would hurt. Smash your yeah. Nose. Yeah, you could break your nose or whatever, but again, this guy's made out of, like, Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. you know? Anyway, <laughs> let's take a look at this room. Um, tree? The bark on this tree shows no hint of disease. No hint of disease, and its leaves are... Well, ugh, and its leaves are an awesome gold color. How about the fountain? This exquisite marble fountain is shaped into the image of a sea serpent. From its mouth spews an acidic liquid. How would he know that? I know. Yeah, really good point. This, it's a small wooden flute. It looks like it could make wonderful music. Well, we're thirsty. Let's take a drink. This is your worst dad. Uh, yeah, next to the torch, this is my second one. Because I just pictured a description. Kneeling down next to the fountain, you drink a handful of the acidic water. You can't even scream because you no longer have a throat, let alone a larynx. And I hate the word larynx. <laughs> it's like Actually, the Adam's it apple. It says larynx, and I think that it's supposed to be larynx. Oh, that's misspelled. I think they spelled wrong. Really? Though. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So basically, when you drink that, it just oh. goes right through, right into your mouth, right out your throat. Oh, God. There's just, like, pink, like, residues. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, it's your throat and all oh, the veins and everything. Yeah, you're just I hate that. that. I really hate that. All right, let's finish this room up. I don't think you can. I think you're right. Uh, yes, because um, I never, in the Cyclops room, I never got what was out of the whale, so no, I have to backtrack. Right. And that's what you need to get this. But also, there's two... Another thing I think that tri tra uh, or, uh, tripped us up. There's two things that do in this room, do you remember? Besides the flute? Yeah, I just remembered when I saw the tree. Yeah. yeah. And I think you need a spell for that. Uh... It might be what's floating on that um, oh, right. water you right there. Use, but, it, but it said that's a wooden flute, so how is it not getting disintegrated? That's a good point. And how's the fountain not getting disintegrated either? Yeah. I guess it's just uh, larynx killing water. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so I think we're going to wrap it up again here. These videos, they, they're fun to do, and they just time flies, so I don't want to make these two videos too long for you guys, but uh, I want to thank my special guest for coming out, my brother. Yeah. And um, maybe you guys will hear him in other videos, too, besides Shadowgate. We plan on doing uh, other videos as well, so thanks for joining me. Thanks, KB. All right, man. See you guys later.